So the IPO market, Rob, is being dominated at the moment by talk of WeWork, the office share company. But it's interesting that yesterday we had some numbers came out from Airbnb, or mm -hmm. one number came out from Airbnb, it's revenue. Um, and it's looking pretty good. Now, WeWork is basically having the wind kicked out of it, mm -hmm. its valuations collapsed. Airbnb looks a bit more promising. Mm -hmm. How are you measuring these two companies against one another? Well, if you want to just look at the business model, for instance, um, you know, it, WeWork, um, what do they do? They, they burn tons of capital. Um, they face lots of competition. There are no economies of scale. Like As the bigger it gets, it just seems to lose more money. Um, and they've got lots of red, red governance flags, of course. All, all these things just make it a really undesirable thing. So that's why when the company went to investors and said, hey, you know, we want to go public at 47, they're like, ha. Ah. And then you know, now it's down to like well below $20 billion. Right. So the evaluation has halved before it's even got to Yeah. And, and, and now let's take a look at Airbnb. So today they said that they're going to go public in 2020. Now take a look at their business model. Um, you know they dominate the category. If you want to go, and and that's because there are real economies of scale. If you rent a house, you want to go to where all the um, people renting are, and that's Airbnb. Opposite too. If you want if you want to rent something, you go to Airbnb because they have all the all the houses on it. Um, also, it doesn't need much capital. The last time they raised capital was 2017. They've only raised 4.4, or I think it's 4.4 billion over their lifespan over uh, about 10 years. Right. Well, WeWork has, WeWork has raised like three times as much money. Um, and if you just look at, so, so today they said they had over a billion dollars in, in a quarter. That's more than uh, WeWork did. Um, in, a lot, in the last quarter. They haven't talked about profit though, right? They said that they're EBITDA positive both last year and the year before. Um, WeWork had negative, over negative 500 million of EBITDA in the last quarter. Alone. So, we've had, a lot, so like, we've had a lot of tech IPOs mm -hmm. recently, I'm thinking particularly things like Uber and Lyft, that say they're tech, but actually they do real world things. They've got assets, they've got people who work for them. This is obviously a big issue for Uber, which is fighting all kinds of, yeah, a lot, a lot of court cases about its labor relations. Airbnb is the real deal though, isn't it? It's a tech company it's, with no assets. It's closer to one. Um, it's still a bit, you know, it's not quite a software company where they just kind of issue the software. It's more like, like, like eBay, for instance. It, it's similar to how eBay used to be, where they just collect a transaction fee. And it, it is just kind of an overlay, a technological overlay over um, you know, real-world assets, and that's kind of desirable because if you just have, if you're just collecting uh, tolls, it's easier to be profitable than right. uh, running a company where you have lots of assets and you have to worry about you know what's going to happen if the economy turns down or renting it out. So WeWork is now postponing its IPO, it's saying it's going to get its IPO done by the end of the year, maybe. But maybe. you know, um, Airbnb is going for next year. What are the prospects, do you think, for Airbnb, given all the stuff we've been talking it's, about? It, is it going to be a good deal? Far, far better. Good deal? Um, if simply just because WeWork has such desperation right now. Um, and there's a reason for that desperation, because they, they, they need the cash very badly. Airbnb doesn't have that. They, they, they can sit back and wait. And that makes them much more desirable. Um, and so the IPO will probably go well. Got it. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Join us here tomorrow for more breaking views.